Hey, folks, uh, this is uh, La uh, Factoring Special Products, and um, uh, so difference of squares. Okay, this one's the easiest one, I think, you guys. X squared minus Y squared, as long as they're perfect squares and there's a minus sign, then it's the conjugate rule, X plus Y times X minus Y, and it's just the square root of the first one and the square root of the second one that goes in each of the parentheses. One has a plus, one has a minus. All right, so, for example, factor each polynomial. Okay, these are all examples of difference of squares. Can you see this is going to be a square root of that's y, the square root of that's 4, so y plus 4, y minus 4, okay? As long as it's a minus sign. Sums, you know, if it said y squared plus 16, those don't, those never factor, okay? Okay, the square root of that's 5p, the square root of that's 7, and it's a minus sign in between them, so it's going to be 5p plus 7, 5p minus 7. Okay, on this one here, uh, that's a plus sign, so I'm going to rearrange these so this comes first and this comes second. That way I can have a difference of squares. Okay, so then now it's 5b plus 4, 5b minus 4. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, on this one, uh, I can pull a uh, 2 out. So if I pull a 2 out of those, then it gives me a difference of squares. This is uh, square root of that's 2. Square root of that is 3x. So 2 plus 3x, 2 minus 3x. Don't forget your GCF, your 2 that you pulled out. Okay, then the next part is perfect square trinomials. Perfect square trinomials follow this pattern, you guys. That's a perfect square. That's a perfect square. It always gives me a binomial squared. This sign right here, this plus sign, comes from this plus sign right here. And then you have to check, you guys. You have to check, multiply these two guys, and then double it to get the middle term. Okay? So over here, same thing, perfect square, perfect square. So that's what goes inside the binomials right here. If you multiply those and then double it, make sure it's that middle guy right there. Okay? If it's not, then you can't factor it. I'll show you. So factor these guys right here, okay? So these looks like perfect square trinomials because it's a trinomial, three terms. Square root of that's x, the square root of that's 3. So, so if you just uh, put it in a binomial, x plus 3 squared, and then double it. So this multiply x and 3 is 3x, double it 6x. So yep, this is, this is factored right here. Okay, over here, per square root of that is 3x, the square root of that is 2. So I'm thinking 3x minus 2 inside the parentheses right there. Okay, and it's minus because of that minus right there. Okay, put them together and double it. So that's uh, 6x and, yes, 12x. So that one factors right there. You have to check, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay, square root of that's 2a. Square root of that's b. So 2a, and it's going to be a minus 2a minus b. Quantity squared It's always quantity squared. Don't forget that. I get a lot of kids forgetting these little squared parts right here. All right, and then double it. Okay, so 2a minus b, double it. Yeah, it's that middle term, so we're good right there. Okay, this one here looks like I'm going to pull... Uh, a negative 2 out of all of those first. And when I pull a negative 2 out, it makes a nice perfect square trinomial. Don't forget the negative 2 that you pulled out. But this is going to be square root of that is x. The square root of that is 4y. So x plus 4y goes in the middle. Let's just, just double it here. So multiply those, double it. Yeah, it's that right there. So that's it right there. Just don't forget your GCF. Okay, and then it's going to ask you, um, uh, okay, so I'm going to pull a, a 2 out of this one and a 3 out of this one right here. Okay, and then uh, perfect square, square root of that's y, the square root of that's uh, uh, 5. Over here, square root of that's x, the square root of that's 5. So let's check it out here. So over here, if I uh, multiplied y plus, times 5 is 5y, double it's 10y. Over here, when I did that right there, uh, if I multiply those together, I get 5x, double it. Nope, it's not double right there. So that's not the answer. The top part is the answer right there. That's as far as you can go. I can only factor out the 3. Okay, so it is factored because I factored out the 3. But this is not, uh, this is not the answer right there because it's not double in the middle right there. Okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and solve a couple of these. Um, okay, so, so these are perfect squared trinomials. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make them a binomial squared and then set that uh, factor equal to 0, and I get x equals uh, 3 fourths on that one. Okay, here. All right, don't let the fractions freak you out. I get kids that get so freaked out about fractions. Squared into 1 ninth is 1 third. Okay, and if I doubled one-third, that would be two-thirds. So this becomes x plus one-third quantity squared. All right, or <laughs> I should have just left it like that. Or you can multiply both sides by nine. Um, if you multiply both sides by nine, you can get rid of the fractions. But x plus one-third squared would still work because here I'm going to get, um, um, this is going to get me three x plus one quantity squared. I'll still get negative one-third as the answer. Uh, whichever way you want to do it, that's okay with me. And just to round it out, uh, this whole chapter I've been showing uh, the assignments uh, on the videos here. So there you go.